So how did you first develop this this syndrome? What was happening? What were you doing? You were a civilian. You weren't working in the government right. in any capacity. So how does this happen to a civilian? It just started happening. Uh, I developed tinnitus, uh, the ring in the ear. Um, first, at like in certain parts of, of the house, and I heard noises and voices, and I could not figure out and then vibrations these vibrations are uh, experientially it's like nothing else you well, there's no neurological disorder that 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 feels like that and i can tell you as a patient and as a physician um experientially it is um very distinct your whole body vibrates, your head is heavy, pressure, It's the sound is deafening, you get disoriented, um, can't walk, can't talk, uh, it, it incapacitates you. And it can last from 10 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour and a half, and it's very painful, it's very uncomfortable, and um, it feels like concussion. It, after after that, it, and and you actually have symptoms of concussion, the the uh, movement of the eyes, nystagmus, and, and this is why uh, some people um, give it the name immaculate concussion. Mm. But um, I had it was escalating. I was searching for an answer. I had convulsions from it, which is which is one of the uh, um, Things that people experience, um, I realized how serious it was. Uh, neurologists were unable to diagnose. I um, started looking through the literature, found a um, paper by Dr. Hoffer where he describes 25 um, diplomats that he examined and diagnosed with what he called acquired neurosensory dysfunction and that's the diagnosis that he gave to these diplomats, and he gave this diagnosis to me. Um, but my attacks did not happen overseas. They happened domestically in my house, and I, I traveled and stayed at hotels, went to uh, other states, and it was happening there too. So not it's just not one location. And it escalated, escalated, escalated. Then I was diagnosed with um, traumatic encephalopathy, basically like post-traumatic brain syndrome. Uh, but there's no injury. There's no concussion. This is not a um, type of injury where you have mechanical trauma. Right. This is energy. This is um, what they call non-kinetic um, uh, weaponry. And... I, and this is how we met. What, why would somebody like you be targeted? What were you doing? Were you, were you dealing with other people in government or diplomats? Or do you have any reason to suspect that somebody would target you with something like this? None. I, I have no idea why I was chosen to uh, be targeted. And I have, I keep no government secrets. I never worked for for a government. I I don't know what the reason is, and I'm not doing it. So, so perhaps people who do it to me would know the answer. So, is this something that you believe happened to you one time and it had like a lasting residual effect, or do you think this is something that happened? You were targeted by some sort of weapon or something multiple times multiple times on ongoing basis. I just had two attacks this morning before I got on the plane. These are active attacks. And I am um, experientially, they feel exactly the same. The vibrations, the um, all the symptoms are the same. And not only that, I have a brain scan that I um, did in April and did in October, so in six months, what what this Havana syndrome is also 
uh, described as um, brain connectivity disorder. So it disrupts connectivity between neural nodes within the brain. And I have these broken connections, these called delta waves that you only experience, you're only supposed to have it uh, during deep sleep. And I have them all over and these are b basically non-functional connections between, between neural nodes. And since April to October of this year, I have 20% more. There's no degenerative neurological disorder that behaves that that like that. This is a very um, fast progress, and um, um, because I'm having I'm having these daily active attacks. These are not functional episodes. These are active attacks that make me vibrate, make, make me disoriented, they're extremely painful. Sometimes I just have to go to the basement and scream in the pillow. It, 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 it's extremely debilitating. I'm on, I've been on medical leave for the last year and um, it's hard for me to do any cognitive work. I work when I can. So when you say it's it's actively happening. So you think that this is being something that's controlled or do you think it is something that just has a, a, an effect that lasts over a long period of time and it happens sporadically at random times? I think that it is. these are active attacks. These are not uh, residual. These are not functional episodes. So their, their episodes are not random. No, they're when I can't predict when when they when they're gonna happen. They can happen. They it can wake me up in the middle of the night. It can happen. There's no pattern. There's no pattern. When you hear to when you listen to sorry when you listen to newer weapon experts that warn us about these attacks they call them intentional. So these are intentional attacks. These are not, the brain does not uh, uh, produce, produce them. It, there's a school of thought that these are functional neurological disorder, but in, in fact, the brain injury from these energy attacks are classified as organic. It, so there's a damage to the brain. So, To answer this question scientifically would be would take somebody to measure that energy coming into my brain, but the detection methods in the intelligence reports are classified. So I can't tell you that this energy is coming in because I'm not measuring it. Nobody is measuring, nobody is investigating it. But I guarantee you these are active attacks. I, I'm, I'm the biggest skeptic. I'm, I'm scientifically minded. I, I have no doubt that these are active attacks. Now, Len, how many people have you um, spoken with or met that ha are experiencing the same symptoms that you're experiencing? Hundreds. Hundreds. And what, when you went down to, was it Miami when you met with the yes. doctor? What, how many people has he seen that he's diagnosed and what specifically, how specifically did he diagnose you? And what, were there any other um, neurological diseases that were similar or in the same realm as Havana syndrome? Or did, did he actually diagnose you with quote unquote Havana syndrome? he diagnosed me with acquired neurosensory dysfunction okay. and that's the paper that's the name of the paper that he published about havana syndrome so if you read it he talks about 25 symptomatic um maybe you can pull this up austin what's his yeah. name uh hoffer, hoffer. acquired dr hoffer of dr. university hoffer. of miami yeah um so he examined 25 symptomatic patients 
medevac from Cuba and 10 of their roommates, because these attacks never happened at the embassy. It always happened at the hotel or uh, living quarters. And they were in the same room. They and never some happened at the embassy. That's interesting. Never happened at the embassy. So people who experience symptoms and uh, there could be other people, their roommates that never experienced it. And so all the people who experienced the symptoms were um, were examined for signs of concussion, and they were uh, they all uh, had symptoms of concussion, even though they never had any physical trauma uh, to their head, and they all had severe vestibular abnormalities, and the severe the abnormalities were at the level of brain injury, not just variation in within the population. Because the criticism was, well, vestibular tests are not really that um, um, precise, and some people with anxiety could have vestibular abnormalities, but not to this extent. And Dr. Hoffer really explains it in his lecture, in his paper, um, Dr. Giordano, who was part of the team, uh, confirms it. Dr. Belband, who uh, did um, um, a test of um, eye movement uh, um, by applying um, uh, this computerized method. And this is how they can uh, tell the uh, Havana syndrome uh, type of damage to the brain from a mechanical concussion. So, mm. so they're both damaged to the brain, but they're different because the mechanism is different. So there's an eye test where they can tell. Yeah, correct. The eye movement test. But the dam the so the the effect of the damage is the same. But the, but there's no physical like abrupt like uh there's no trauma. There's no physical th trauma. There's no mechanical trauma. Did you mention right. the quantitative uh, EEG? Yeah. So, okay. so the same patients were um, um, sent to the University of Pennsylvania and um, um, to the trauma um, center, and they were all done. Um, uh, they performed various tests on them, including fMRI, functional magnetic resonance imaging. Um, there's specific um, type of MRI that shows connectivity in the brain called DTI, diffusion tensor imaging. And they found um, abnormalities that once again, these specialists see in uh, traumatic brain injury. So, the doctors who examined these patients, they all in one voice tell us something happened to these patients and these are the findings and the findings are, uh, they constitute brain injury. The critics of that say this is psychogenic illness and it's spread like mass hysteria people under stress develop these uh, sensations and they all kind of repeat after each other and they in their brain kind of develops this these patterns but none of these specialists and i i spoke to dr Barth bartholomew who who brought co-wrote a book um, about tavana syndrome being mass hysteria and he admitted himself in my conversation, he said, "If there was, um, if there were findings of brain injury, that would invalidate my hypothesis." Right. And so the doctor, but he never, he has never seen a, a patient with Havana syndrome. But all the doctors that saw the patients say these patients have brain injury. Um, findings. How many civilians are there dealing with the same thing? I, I, I would give from my estimate, low end, around the world, and this is in every country, that 
can use the internet, that uh, can contact me, minimum 10,000. Minimum 10,000 So that means a lot more. <laughs>